In this lecture, we're going to understand what is JWT. We're going to dive deep into JWT concept and make it easy to understand what is JWT. Then we're going to understand why you need to use JWT as well as I'm going to create a simple example to understand how to work with JWT. So let's first understand what is JWT. JWT stands for JSON Web Token. JSON Web Token is a standard used to create access tokens for an application. In simple words, it is just like an authentication service used to authenticate a user. JWT work is very simple. The server generates a token that certifies the user identity and send it to the client. Then whenever the client requests something from the server, he passes that token with the request and identity. But the next question comes in, why do we need JWT? One common use case is for allowing client to preserve their session information after logging in by starting the session information locally and passing it to the server for authentication when making requests. The server can trust that the client is registered user. Before we understand what JWT is, we need to first understand how the REST API work in the past. Once upon a time, to get the restricted data from the API, you would have to pass a username and password with a request. Then it will be searched in the database for whether those credentials really exist. It is checked for authenticity. Finally, it will be checked if the authenticated user is also authorized to perform that request. If both checks pass, the real API will be executed. It seems logical. But the problem is the HTTP protocol is stateless. This means a new request won't know anything about the previous one. So we need to re-authenticate the user for each new request. The traditional way of dealing with this is to use server-side session. In this case, we first check for the username and password if they are authentic, the server will save a session ID in a memory and return it to the client. For now on, the client will just need to send its session ID to be recognized. This solution saves the stateless HTTP problem, but it will create another one. When you are authenticated, the server stores the session in a memory, in a server memory. And you know that you are not the only one who requests that API endpoint. API endpoints can face a huge amount of requests and store huge amount of session data. So we need to scale the infrastructure. Along with that, let's suppose we add another server to handle the huge amount of requests. When the client perform a request using session ID, its record will securely be found in a server memory. Now suppose your request is redirected to the new server. You will get an authenticated error. The brand new server has no session ID in its memory. So the authentication process will fail. So to fix this, there are two main workarounds that can be used. But these two workarounds are not good as needed. So the better solution for this is JWT token or you can say JSON Web Token. So once you understand how the REST API work in the past, in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how JWT token work.